insulting her time and she kicks it off KCC football club is on the run blue and yellow and uh, you think that KCC all that they need to do now is uh, to gel and I think if they're given time with the, with the new coach with this uh, philosophy then they, they should be good to go that's because your name says I refuse to put my TikTok uh, name on the, on the screen your name is William see the graphics guy as the ball is played away the team cohesion you talked about a very passionate point as Abraham Tusoida gets onto the ball here looking for a chance here in the box area looking for a quick one two lays it off goalkeeper and it's a goal what else what else would you anticipate and the fact that he's actually been the man at the very end of the goal well uh, you can see that uh, again what um, maroons do is uh, find that opportunity behind um, kcc on the right side of kcc because uh, magambo is not a natural fullback he's a center back so he's expected to get cover from uh, the fullback and once uh, Tusubra runs in, and then the midfielders don't drop in to track the run of Ndihabe. Because you've got to ask yourself, what are the midfielders doing to try and stop Ndihabe's run before he takes the shot? For just for the reason that maybe I may be getting too deep. But this, for anybody who watches football world over, is called the hype. Yeah. There are layers about it. They start from the very apex and they go down. And no. they are in the mall and they are so very difficult to break down. Yeah, and, and the thing is that uh, you look at uh, Maroons and they've got like um, three blocks that they've set up. You look at that front line, Abel Trude with uh, Freda Maku, they all press and just look at how they lose the ball again because they lose the ball. Now, Pick you look up, at yeah. uh, how uh, Maroons make the run and Abel Trude plays the pass to Abraham to Sumira, which course was uh, too heavy but you can see their plan the once they steal the ball yeah. they've got the runners off the ball and uh, that's where they stretch cases here spread out here to Katenga. into the midfield here KCC gliding away from one getting away from two shots and the goalkeeper does not stand on occasion That's a question. everybody is giving time ask for time now um, coach it's not I, I, as far as I'm concerned it's not really working out uh, she brandishes Ah yes, hands. Uh, what he expects of them. Yeah, minimum. As Katenga tries to cross the ball in, there could be a chance here. Set up. And the goalkeeper is right in the place. I yes, think that the delivery by Katenga, quite good, good control, good uh, first touch coming in now from Hamid Shaban. Then he sets up um, Usama, but Usama. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff to hear down there. Absolutely. I'm sure that the coach is going to be screaming out at the players for what they've uh, for the way they have applied themselves in this half. Probably be telling them you need to step up this tempo and uh, you need to uh, to actually play with more confidence and uh, vigor which you feel that um, they, are, they, they are not really showing the swagger that you probably have uh, known KCC for over the years. Number 10, Fouling and number 10, Katenga on number 10, Ebola Le Trude. There's a free kick here. It's going to be taken by Goncalo. Shot number 6, Guy. Brilliant boots. That one just goes all the way towards the stadium poster. That has Godfrey Katerega and Sam Simba for a corner kick. Opportunity, especially with uh, the height that KCC have, Peter Magambo, Gonzaga, Gi as well. You wonder whether they can capitalize on such an opportunity. It's actually Gi. Then Carlo Gi. You keep confusing our no, viewers. It's Gi. And the chance! The rain man! 
Saka, the one player that everybody deserves. He finally, finally. Well, the referee, Shamira Navada, will bring this first particular stanza to a standstill. MTN Omondi Stadium. It is KCCA against uh, Maroons. 1 1, the scoreline is at halftime. John Vianin Simbe alongside Jermaine Egesa. They've uh, really come short in um, as far as uh, creating chances is concerned. And that BS there that has the VIP, we may be getting. My, my, I know my director will be giving us a bit of a picture about that particular one. There'll be a couple of unhappy faces. And talking about unhappy faces, the tank. Well, the referee, Shamira Navada, is not standing on occasion. She is not very happy with the antics that are coming in in the box area as the corner is delivered in. Oof. For a minute, I thought I was in. Lead that ex KCC attack and trying to get back to his old form of uh, that uh, raised so many people's expectations in what he could become. Maybe this could be the season that is make or break for him. What a bad glancing header by them. They also need to use the ball, they need to go for it, and they need to try and win the game. They can't uh, settle for a small man mentality. Guy, breaking away, looking for the cross on the side, and nobody was on the outside here, looking to cross the ball away. See, there's no rush coming in from Maroon to try and get uh, play restarted. That points to a team that uh, is possibly satisfied with the draw. Can I speak small Luganda? <laughs> Feel free. Small Luganda, you cannot fold. This is, this is me speaking small Luganda. You cannot fold the women in black. They have been so amazing. That's true. Even in that instance, they have right the ball, there. They've managed the game quite well, that's for sure. The ball is played away. Looking for Bonzaga. Looking for the cross in. And the ball is intercepted here. Maroons Football Club. The Princeton Warden is pressing it out onto the side. Looking for the wrong cross. Rombi now trying to break forward here. Who's available? Oh! What a chance! What a chance! As we have seen uh, for much of uh, this game. And they go once again looking to break away. Nice touch and the referee, Shamiro Navada. Was in that in the penalty area? If he uses arm in the penalty oh, area. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That we have it. a chance to see it again. He was in the penalty area. That is a penalty. And immediately, I want you to look at the flag. I want you to look at the referee's flag. Just to make sure that the people who are watching the game back at home have a clear understanding. John Vianney Simbe, I am still not convinced it's a penalty. Chance here. Samarafat stepping up, squaring in. And he goes, shakes. And he hits the upright. Oh my goodness. Would you believe that? And now, clearly, I'm sure Tranquil is asking himself why on earth could uh, should uh, Usama Rafat miss some, such an opportunity. And this is why you feel that uh, sometimes players uh, have got to take uh, more responsibility than they actually are ready to do because it's a, an opportunity from just what 12 years just scored a oh goal and uh, give KCC word. the lead and oh still misses my word. it he and really had that angled in yeah Set exactly the goalkeeper the wrong way but if there was any other player you would have wanted to step up to that penalty it would have been this man here usama arafat yeah definitely uh, quite disappointed he must be feeling as the change is made Frenchy goes in with a good delivery deep in and headed by by Iga Patrick but then cleared away good save pulled off by the goalkeeper Juma Mutebi 
Probably one of those uh, incidents where you could actually say that the goalkeeper has not been heavily tested. That's the case here, goalkeeper. It shows up when he's needed most and uh, by pulling off uh, such a save. In any case, if he hadn't, then uh, it would have been a very good uh, chance for Maroons uh, to take the lead. Seize the opportunity that KCC just wasted a short while ago. 1-1 one, one it remains. 13 minutes left on the clock. Quite a dramatic second half if you ask me. Maroons players up in arms with the referee Shamira Nabada, but she was right. Of course up in arms with her and her assistant Mutoni Jen who actually made the right call. I'm sure this is uh, the kind of call that um, requires a lot of guts. Maroons be considered. They only have themselves to blame. Habada Chai sizes up the opportunities. He was a good crossing, but Jacob Mokao clears his lines. Felix Okot just can't bring the ball under control. Usama Rafat, can he still lift himself after missing that penalty for KCC a short while ago? And he fouls Biika and he gets a yellow card as a result following his foul on Biika, the right back of Maroons Football Club. Can you imagine what's going through his mind with Sama Arafat? He seems relaxed despite the miss. I'm sure he must be feeling like he's haunted. Especially if it ends up this way, 1 1, he will be having those nightmares of uh, the penalty opportunity that he has missed. Free kick to Maroons Football Club. It's about 11 minutes left on the clock and possibly a, a few minutes will be added by the referee Shamila Nabada. Change is being prepared here by KCCA Football Club Gabriel, Brazilian, commonly known as Gabi. Can he be the game changer? Free kick to Maroons. As uh, Juma Mutemi prepares his wall and uh, gives out instructions on uh, the position they need to take. Abraham delivers into the back of the it? And yes, it is. And Fred Amaku punishes KCCA for the second time after a free kick was uh, poorly handled here by the KCCA defense. And Maroons celebrate the KCCA fans. An opportunity that they should have uh, capitalized on. And a lot of work. And the referee has a yellow card to brandish here. Corner kick. Over in by Hassan Mubirov. Substitute that was just brought in, but then not well utilized. He continues. KCC had probably hoped that there would be. Yeah, for Maroon Football Club. Solid defending, and that should be well. David in the will yellow card. left Shamira <laughs> with no option. Yeah, David in the will definitely take that yellow card for the side. As a captain, he probably knew that if he had let um, Katenga go on that onslaught, then it would have easily exposed his uh, team defensively. A double substitution here, and ladies and gentlemen, the Bishop Orombi is about to be introduced into the game to take the place of Amaku. And the other substitution is Abraham Tusubira Kakensa stepping out for a certain party. Yeah, clearly, uh, it's going to be a turnaround. And ladies and gentlemen, four minutes were added on. Four minutes have been played. Four minutes, she will call it once again.